While it is a well-traveled land, we would like to acknowledge that the land on which we gather is the ancestral territory of the Three Fires Confederacy of First Nations. Comprised of the Ojibwe, the Ottawa, and the Potawatomi, we are grateful to work, learn, and live in this area. And welcome to our Ash Wednesday Liturgy of, of the Word. Today is the first day of Lent, the season of preparation for the resurrection of Jesus Christ on Easter Sunday. As we enter into the Lenten season, let us pray today that God will grant us a clean heart and a renewed spirit. Our homilist today is Fr Father Dwayne Adam. May we begin with, with prayer and fasting, this Lenten season of Christian service, so that we so that we may be ready to, do, to avoid evil and do good, turn away from sin, and return to you. We ask, we ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with, with you in the, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Joel, we fast and pray to remind us of who we are. Who are we? We are spiritual beings with physical bodies. We are social beings in need of one another. In other words, we need other we need others and God. We cannot do it alone. Let us return to God. Nothing shall hold us back from returning to God. Nothing. The word of the Lord, thanks be to God. The response is, be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, O God, in your goodness, and the greatness of your compassion wipe out my offense. Thoroughly wash me from my guilt, and of my sin cleanse me. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. For I, for I acknowledge my offense, and my sin is before me always. Against you only have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. A clean heart create for me, O God, and a steadfast spirit renew within me. Cast me not out from your presence, and your Holy Spirit take not from me. Response, be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Give me back the joy of your salvation and a willing spirit sustain in me. O oh Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Response, be merciful, O oh Lord, for the ascent. A reading from the second letter of the St. Paul to the Corinthians. We are ambassadors for Christ. 
God is asking us through Jesus to be reconciled with Him. God makes us weak in ourselves so that by praying to God, we might become the goodness of God. We beg you not to forget the grace of God that you have received. Now this is our favorite time. This is the day of salvation. Salvation. The word of the Lord. Response. Thanks be to God. What is Ash Wednesday? Ash Wednesday is the beginning of Lent, the weeks leading up to Easter where we focus on returning to God. In the first reading, the prophet Joel writes that the Lord calls to us. God says, return to me with your whole heart. What does this mean? Well, sin separates us from God. We all sin and separate ourselves from God by putting other things before him. We love TV and chocolate cake and good grades, and these are all good. But we should not make these things the most important in our hearts when really, the most important thing in our lives should be God. We are called to love the Lord our God above all things, but we often think about other things more than Him. That's why we are separated from God and need to return to Him, because He loves us so much and He wants to be close to us. During Lent, we are called to repent. Repent means to think about our sin, to feel sorry, and to ask God for forgiveness. The cross on our foreheads on Ash Wednesday is a symbol of our repentance. God welcomes us back because He is so in love with us. To be with Him, we are called to change how we act and how we think. In today's Gospel, Jesus calls us to do good deeds for God. But we shouldn't be good just so that other people will think we are really nice people. No, Jesus said that we should do good so that God will see and God will reward us. This Lent, Let's repent, tell God that we are sorry for our sins, and come back to Him by doing good. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also support Catholic Kids Media on Venmo or Patreon using the links in the description. Thanks for watching! Lord, be with you. A reading from Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the disciples, Beware of practicing your piety before others in order to be seen by them, for then you have no reward from your Father in heaven. So whenever you give alms, do not sound a trumpet before you as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and in the streets, so that they may be praised by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you give alms, do not let your left hand know what your right hand is doing, so that your alms may be done in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you pray, do not be like the hypocrites, for they love to stand and pray in the synagogues and at the street corners, so that they may be seen by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But whenever you pray, go into your room and shut the door, and pray to your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. And whenever you fast, do not look dismal like the hypocrites, for they disfigure their faces so as to show others that they are fasting. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward. But when you fast, Put oil on your head and wash your face, so that your fasting may be seen not by others, but by your Father who is in secret, and your Father who sees in secret will reward you. The Gospel of the Lord. I would like to ask you to be completely quiet.
It was sound, conversation, music, and videos, and games. All of these are good, but what is missing in our daily lives is science. By the way, this is how we can listen for the voice of God, and how we can listen to His voice, unless we are silent. Unless our hearts are calm, quiet, and ready, we miss the presence of God. During Lent this year, I want to invite you to practice silence, even five minutes at a time. You can practice silence anywhere you choose, outside in the fresh air, in the warmth of your room, as a family or as a class, every day you are given 24 hours of life. Try to practice a minimum of five minutes of silence, just to be with God and to be open to God who is always with you. You will be surprised how much your life will change, especially if you can build your time with Jesus to 15 minutes a day before we celebrate Easter. There is an activity page provided by the diocese and sent to the school that will give you some great ways to live the season of Lent by helping others. You can do these activities on your own, with your family, or with your class. God bless you. Have a great Lent and get to know Jesus better.
Let us pray for the ch- let us pray for the church that all God's people remember their lonely, poor, and forgotten brothers and sisters by sharing their food, money, and time with them. This line and always we pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the leaders of the church, especially our bishops and priests. May God give them the wisdom to guide all of us to become holy and following Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. Amen. Let us pray for our parents, that God might help them to guide us always in what is right and true. We pray to the Lord. Response. Let us pray for all who have died, people we know, and those of our families, and all who die unloved and unremembered. We pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for our teachers, EAs, secretaries, caretakers, and principals, that they may continue to lead us by their good examples as they follow Jesus. We pray to the Lord. Response is, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for each other, especially for those who are sick, for those who have COVID-19 virus, and those recovering from the virus. That God may give us his strength to be kind to pray, to share, and to be kind to one another this Lent. We pray to the Lord. Response, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray the prayer that the Father has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thou will be done. On earth as it is in heaven, give us this our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses. As we forgive those who trespasses against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Notre Père, qui es au ciel, que ton nom soit sanctifié, que ton règne vienne, que ta volonté soit faite, sur la terre comme au ciel. Donne-nous aujourd'hui notre pain de ce jour. Pardonne-nous nos offenses, comme nous pardonnons aussi à ceux qui nous ont offensés, et ne laisse pas entrer en tentation, mais des lieux de demain. Amen. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate this important journey towards Easter. As we begin this Lenten season, let us ask the Lord Jesus that we may grow in compassion for others, grow in our understanding of what others might be suffering, and become more aware of what we can do to help others around. Just let me